Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the new Wet n Wild Fergie Photo Focus Palette and this is what it looks like. You get three true matte shades, two satin finishes, and the rest or obviously the five shades left are very shimmery shades. Now I found mine at Walgreens for about $5.99. So first thing I'm going to do is clip my hair back and take that first lightest shade and take this onto my brow bone. This shade is one of the satin shades. Now you can see even here that it's not matte. It does have a bit of a very pretty pearlescent sheen. Now I'm going to take the brush that actually comes with the palette and dip into the first matte shade. This shade is actually quite powdery and I was a bit surprised, but whatever. I use this brush and it you know, it just wasn't doing it for me, so I went in with my Sigma E40 in the same breath, in the same shade, and just took this all up into my crease, and this will be our transition color. Now I'm going to take that true dark brown matte, and these colors are surprisingly really pigmented. I know some of the Wet n Wild shadows are not that great but this palette is amazing it's super easy to blend it's really pigmented and the colors are so so pretty and it's totally worth the six dollars here I'm just taking that bronzy color on the flat end of the brush and I'm gonna sweep that along the middle portion of my eyelid and I love this color it just gives you a really really nice dark bronzy shimmer to your eyelid and then I'm going to mix the first two golden shades. These two shades I'm going to take onto the first third of my eyelid and you get this gradient effect. Now I'm going to clean out the brush with my Veramona sponge thing <laughs> and take that shimmery pink and take this onto the first part of my eyelid and this is just going to create more of a sheen to that part of my eye. Now I'm going to take this color and just make that first third of my eyelid pop a little more and I'm just packing it on here. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going to mix those two shades and deepen up my outer V with my Sigma E25. This is just deepening up the color. I lost some of it while I was blending. Now I'm done with the eyeshadow, just tight lining my upper waterline with my LA Girl Cosmetics Gel Liner. I'm going to go in with my Inglot gel liner and gonna do eyeliner. <laughs> I feel like I just said eyeliner a bunch of times there. So here I'm just winging out my cat eye. You guys have seen me do this a bunch of times before. So I'm just gonna speed through it because I'm sure you've seen this so many times and this is just repetitive for me. <laughs> So after this, I am going to be taking more of that brown color and extending it towards the angle of my cat eye. I just want to connect it so it doesn't look like there's a space there. And yeah, that's all. And blending it out with my Sigma E25. Pretty self-explanatory. Now whatever is left on the flat end of that brush, I'm just taking it to my lower lash line and just smoking out my lower lash line. Here I'm taking Urban Decay's pencil in the shade Roach, which is a really nice warm toned brown shade, and just lining my lower waterline with that. Now curling my lashes. This is um, an optional thing that you could do if you want to prep your lashes for falsies. Here I'm just using um, Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara to prep my upper lashes. This is Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara to hit my lower lashes. And then soon I'll be going in with, I don't know what um, style I'm using, but they're from Eyelore. Everything will be a link down below guys, so make sure you open up that description bar because Everything I'm using in this video is usually linked in the description bar. And then after I'm done with mascara, I'm going to contour my face with the shade Light Palette from Kat Von D using my NARS Eda brush. Again, I'm just speeding through this because I've done this in like all of my tutorials. So just really quick, um, hit your underneath your cheekbones and then your temple area and then connect the two very lightly. I'm 
hitting the lower part of my lip and the sides of my nose to give it more contour and more definition. Now I'm using the shade Infatuation by Makeup Geek with my Lexi. I think this is a 504 brush and I love this brush. It makes me want to get more Lexi brushes. Now I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder with my Target Blush Brush and just using that powder to hit the upper portion of my cheekbones and I'm about to use a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now I'm going in with these new Fergie lip crayons. They're called like Velvet Matte and that shade is called Transcendence. I'm not too sure about it and then this one's called like Plum something or other. I don't know, but I decided to use this color first. And while they are comfortable to wear, I didn't find them to be very opaque. And I think that would bug me throughout the day because I'm not really crazy about reapplying my lipstick, especially when I'm like super busy. So it's pretty, and it kind of goes with this look, but I wasn't too crazy about it. So had to go. So the next color that I'm trying is the shade Transcendence. I wasn't too crazy about um, how much orange I feel this one had. And again, it wasn't opaque or anything, but so yeah, I this one had to go too. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about it. But the shade that I was okay with leaving on is the shade Transcendence. And this shade is I don't know. I don't know if it was like the color that made this thing pop out like that or if it's a formula, but whatever, that's how it came out. <laughs> I haven't opened these. Um, I've been waiting until using them in this tutorial, but whatever. This is a lightest shade and it is a nice nude, but again, it's not opaque. So you can see here, I'm just swiping over the area a bunch of times, but I don't know, whatever. I thought it looked okay with this eye look. <laughs> anyway, so this is the finished, I don't know, look, I guess. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please subscribe right here and give me a thumbs up and let me know down below for anything you guys want to see next. Thanks for watching. Bye. No matter what you do, but she's a fool.